Um, Triple H would be in her corner for the match. Uh, I don't know what just happened there. I think the second video just started. Okay, let's just move on. Uh, keep going. Uh, so uh, Stephanie would be uh, Hunter would be in her corner for the match, and yeah, uh, Stephanie would be trained, but yeah. Becky would be dominant. Stephanie would have yeah. a power advantage, but no way skill advantage. Uh, eventually, Becky would get the disarmor in on Stephanie, and Triple H would hit the ring, knock out the referee, yeah. and look, he's gonna be taking off the sh 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 uh, jacket, yeah. taking off the tie. Looks like he's gonna pedigree this woman, and then you'd hear over the speakers, "Burn it down." Seth Rollins hits the ring. He wouldn't hit a he wouldn't hit a, a famous or anything. He would go right after Hunter, and they would brawl out through the crowd. Stephanie would come to, uh, uh, maybe get a jump on on. Uh, maybe you would have yeah have have Becky take the pedigree. Uh, Stephanie comes to wakes up the referee. Becky kicks out of the pedigree. Steph goes for her own pedigree. The switch is taken down. This armor taps out. Becky, of course, would win this big match, but the next night on Raw, I would have Stephanie suspend Becky Lynch for reasons. Uh, and, you know, keep Becky, you know, being a thorn in the ointment kind of situation. Or if Becky wanted to take a little bit more time off to go be on, that would be great, too. God bless her. But either way, it would be a spectacle and WrestleMania worthy. Main event time. Get ready for the feel-good moment of the night. Roman Reigns defending the Universal Championship against the 2021 Royal Rumble winner, Daniel Bryan. It's very simple, people. Last year, we didn't have a WrestleMania. Everybody was victimized by, the, by you know, COVID and everything else like this that happened last year. We need a real feel-good moment. Give the fans a match that they've been wanting for years. Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns. Bryan will win the Royal Rumble in a valiant performance, and his number one goal would be Roman. Roman is the toughest guy in the company. Roman is the guy that I was never able to beat. This would be great. And of course Roman being the great great at how his at great how he has been at his promos and everything lately, it would just elevate the whole rivalry. Uh, the crowd would be 100% invested in Daniel Bryan, and with this monstrous version of heel Roman, heel Roman Reigns, that quite frankly has made every promo and every match he has had since he turned must-see TV. This is the WrestleMania main event we deserve, and they could not do any better. I would basically have it come down to, storyline-wise, Jey Uso wouldn't interfere, Paul Heyman would be in his corner, Paul, Paul Heyman's never really been much of a gotta-get-involved kind of guy. Um, but I mean, it, it, I mean, it was diving headbutts, the flying knees, Superman punch, drive by spear, the classical finishers aren't really working for Roman. So you go for that Zabisco lock, that choke out thing he's been using occasionally lately, but he can't out wrestle Daniel Bryan. Bryan will slip out, roll through, hook him in the LaBelle lock, and Roman Reigns will tap out, making Daniel Bryan the new WWE Universal Champion. Ending WrestleMania 37 with really, really good moments. I mean, real great vibes. Ryan doesn't even necessarily have to have a really long reign. Just to have the fan and the, the match, everybody wants to see the baby face. Everybody wants to win. And the heel, everybody wants to see get beat. That's WrestleMania. Anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it lasts just one video. I don't think it's gonna. Anyhow, I'm Jake Davis. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You want to say hello, Scarly? Okay. <laughs> Catch you on the fly.